Every year during the holiday season, the Armenian American Health Professionals Organization members, medical students, and guests gather for an annual Christmas lunch. Prior to the festivities, affiliates are presented with annual reports, including past year's activity, budget considerations, election of new board members of the organization, and new future plans. As in previous years, the annual report was announced by APO's president, Dr. Larry V. Najarian, following with remarks by other members of the organization. The miracle of APO has been what we can accomplish, how we can leverage the skill sets of our health care providers. And these are health care providers of all sorts. These are pharmacists, these are nutritionists, these are social workers, psychiatrists, psychologists, and physicians of all stripes, surgeons, dentists. Uh, and what we've been able to leverage our skills to literally impact the lives of thousands of others, to give others hope and opportunity that they can have a healthy life and recover from illness. As 2013 comes to an end, APA was most proud of their efforts within the last year. They expanded their spectrum of services to Armenians in New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut. The organization's doctors, nurses, members, and volunteers implemented new ideas, enhancing their knowledge and resources. Upon APO also strengthened and increased their collaborations with the American Bar Association, Armenian Engineers and Scientists of America, and recently with the Armenian Medical Fund as a new partner. I believe APO to be a very dynamic and passionate organization and I enjoy volunteering for them in the capacity of marketing, public relations, and um, just uh, hope to uh, help them uh, accomplish their mission. By their relentless work, APO accomplished more to help the Armenian community than at any time in its history. APO's ongoing aim is to serve and address the health care problems and issues the Armenian community faces by continuing to provide programming that will help save lives. Karina, I've been active with the Fund for Armenian Relief. And uh, one of the things that started, which was very important in Armenia, was a program for continuing medical education for doctors, which was very important over there. And, uh, Apo picked it up and, and set it all up in Karabakh. And I think that's kind of wonderful and good of Apo to do that. Well, I think just their being part of Apo and supporting it, uh, they, they already know what, what they're part of. And uh, all I can tell them is that what, what Apo is doing is growing and it's important and they should continue to be interested. Following the final meeting of the year, a delightful lunch took place for guests, families, and children to enjoy, as well as a warm welcoming to new members embarking on APO's mission and cause. It's an organization where you have literally every field in healthcare today coming together. Uh, it's a great thing. Personally, I'm a general dentist, um, but getting to meet other Armenian American uh, healthcare providers, whether they're in nutrition, pharmacy, medicine, um, it, it's a great place where you can really exchange ideas, um, talk about current topics and trends in, in our respective professions. And there's a lot of uh, crossover, too, uh, among many of the different fields. The Arega Chorus of New Jersey Hamaskayim Cultural and Educational Association, under the leadership of Bahasha Gohanian, provided wonderful entertainment for Apo's guests, singing festive Christmas carols as well as beautiful Armenian songs. <laughs>
course, it isn't a Christmas party without Santa Claus, who came to visit and spread cheer to all the children at the event, bringing each one a special gift. The New Year marks Apple's 20th anniversary. As they enter 2014, Apple continues to grow strongly as they address new healthcare challenges they will face in the coming decade.